Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be having a look at the new General's Handbook Pitch Battles 2023 to 24. I'll be taking you through an overview of the book and picking out some of the key points to discuss. We'll have a look at some of the new spells, the new setting and everything this new General's Handbook and new season of Sigmar has to offer. Right, let's get into it. So here you can see I've got the previous version, the Pitch Battles 22 to 23. This was season two and they were coming out every six months. So we'll get rid of that one. We're going to focus on this one. Now, the good news is this is going to be valid for one year. So rather than just buying a book that you can only use for six months, now we can get this. It's going to last for the year much better. You're going to get this little insert that tells you everything that's included in the pack when it's all wrapped up. This is on the back. I couldn't wait to unpack it in the video, so I've had a real good read through it already. But there we go. We'll get rid of that piece. We don't need that anymore. You're also going to get this card insert. If you've got any of the previous General's Handbooks, you'll be familiar with this kind of thing. We've got objective markers, the new Hoarfrost spell, the tower markers, and then our eight battle tactics on these reversible cards as well. Very handy to have. Personally, I prefer just using the battle tactics from the book, but it's nice to put that down on the table when you've chosen the tactic to use. The cover is looking great. I think it's nice and simple. Nothing too flash, but certainly enough to be getting on with. And I really like the whole aesthetic they've gone with of Age of Sigmar right from when Dominion came out until now. And on the back, you've got this really handy rules reference that tells you all the command abilities you can do in the different phases. Also goes through the basic spells and prayers as well. You can see it's got the ring binder, which is brilliant. This is really helpful for using it on the table. It's also not a big book either, so it's just a little bit bigger than A5. But you can see here, nice thick cover. You've got the ring binder, so you can fold it and have it with just one page showing, or have it completely flat on the tabletop. And just a simple thing, ring binder, but it makes a huge difference. It's brilliant. You've got a little introductory text there. I've used my code already, so don't try and pinch that. I don't believe you would for a second, but there we go. We've got all the contents laid out nice and clearly. Then we've got a few pages just getting us in the mood and introducing us to this new region of Antor, which I think is brilliant. I really like this frozen theme that they're going with for the new season. And I'm really looking forward to trying out some of the battles. You've got all your pitch battle rules there, everything you need to know to pick your army. And this is what we'll be using in our TTSG Southwest tournaments. As most of the tournaments do, we're going to be using the rules out of this. So if you're coming along, this is a great book to get hold of. Then you've got your realm rules. And in this new season, there's a huge focus on wizard heroes. So if you've got a wizard hero with a wounds characteristic of nine or less, and they're not unique, they're going to gain the Andatorian Locus keyword. So this is going to be similar to the Galician champion in the previous season. So anyone with the Andatorian Locus is going to get access to special rules, including things like optimal focus, primal magic. But don't worry if you've not got any wizards, because there is going to be some unique enhancements and they're called null stone adornments so you're going to be using these null stone adornments here to help you out to take on the wizards i'll be going into a little bit more detail about this when i do a video about the battle scroll that was released very recently so look out for that coming soon that's the unique enhancements and as we turn the page you can see we've got realm sphere magic and now here you can pick one spell from the law of primal frost for each Andatorian locus in your army. Now this is instead of picking one spell from another spell law that they know, but there's some really good spells here. You've got Hoarfrost, Rupture, and Merciless Blizzards. Hoarfrost is awesome. I'm gonna read it out because it's really good. So here we go. Hoarfrost is a spell that has a casting range of eight and a range of 12 inches. If successfully cast, pick one friendly unit wholly within range and visible to the caster. Pick one melee weapon profile on that unit's war scroll and roll a d3. Change the to hit, to wound, or rend characteristic of that melee weapon to match the result until the start of your next hero phase. This is so cool because if you roll a 1, you could say that now it's a 1 to hit. But bear in mind that if you roll an unmodified hit or wound roll of 1, it's still going to always be a fail. But that still means you're hitting on 2s. So if you get a 1 or 2, you might want to choose that for your hit or to wound characteristic. But if you get like a 3, then all of a sudden your ren characteristic could be minus 3. I think this is fantastic. 
Across the page you're going to see the command traits, and if your general is an Antorian locus, you can pick one command trait from the follower list and give it to them. So you've got some options there as well, so certainly a lot going on here, really focused on those wizards, which I think is just great fun, and I can't wait to get playing loads of games with these new rules, it's going to be awesome. Then you've got the core battalions, you've got the Antorian acolytes and wizard finders of Antor, or focusing on magic, which is, again is brilliant. That's what Age of Sigma is all about for me. I think it's a great way to go. Then you've got the grand strategies. So there's going to be six new grand strategies altogether here. And so once you've picked your army, as normal, you'll pick one grand strategy from here or from your battle tome. You've got things like control the nexus. It says when the battle ends, you complete this grand strategy if two or more friendly wizard units are wholly within six inches of the center of the battlefield. So really showing you, you're going to get a lot of wizards on. I've got four lined up already for my Stormcast Eternals. Then we've got battle tactics, eight new ones, as we saw on those cards earlier. I really like Magical Mayhem, where you pick one enemy unit on the battlefield and complete the battle tactic if that unit is destroyed by damage inflicted by a spell or the abilities of an endless spell. That's pretty fun, and there's going to be spells going off all over the place now for this new season. I'll wait till you see some of the battle plans later on. And at the bottom of this page, page 18, you can see the 12 new battle plans that we're going to be playing. And on page 19, you've got the scoring sheet. So as we turn over, we can have a look at the battle ready section. Nothing new there from the previous one, really. So I won't, won't stay on that too long. But you can see these little dividers are great because they're made of cards. So a lot thicker than the regular pages. And these just are, are fantastic just for navigating around this book. All the little tabs are very clear. And so you can just jump from section to section. Really handy. You've also got the elastic that you can put in there to bookmark as well, which I think is brilliant. And having it with this ring binder means you can even stand up the book if you wanted to and you can have it open as I said earlier or you could even put it down so it's folded and both players can see the defender's territory and the attacker's territory really clearly. It's just so good, so useful, so functional. I think they've done a great job with this. But I won't dwell on the battle plans too much. We'll just flick through. There's going to be 12 altogether. I'll be going into a bit more detail of some of them over the next few weeks, especially as we prepare for the next tournament. We picked them out already. They're in the tournament pack if you want to have a look. But yeah, there's going to be 12. Some are really fun. Some look really difficult. Some of the deployments look crazy, but... I think it really is fun with the magic. You've got some interesting ideas going on and some things you'll be familiar with and some brand new ones. I like this one. I don't think it's going to be a tournament one. We haven't included it in ours, but it's, it looks like a really fun game to play out though. Towers in the Tundra. Now we go on to the following page, starting at 46, you're going to go through the pitch battle publications, showing you which ones you can use now in this new season, and then you've got the endless spells updated, and if you want to find the points, just go to the battle scroll that was recently updated on the Warhammer community site. Then you've got the rules, the player's code, and these are going to be all the rules that you need to play, again updated, while this was printed at least, there's going to be some changes perhaps. Again, check out the most up-to-date battle scrolls always to keep up to date with everything that's going on. The rules are great in Age of Sigmar, written really well, and they're all numbered as well, so very quick and easy to reference. You've got notes down the side, which answer a lot of questions as they come up, and so I think they've just done a great job with the rules altogether, but then combining it in a functional little book like this. It's just brilliant, and even if you are having to refer to the book, which can take you out of the immersion of a game, this kind of doesn't do it. It's not like going into a battle tome or a codex. There's something about this that I just think is really good. You notice you can't close it from the back, so you just fold it from the front. And there we go. So that's it. That's the new General's Handbook Pitch Battles 2023 to 2024. I think it's great. And if you do play Age of Sigmar a lot, I can certainly recommend getting hold of this. It's really going to help you improve your game. It's going to speed things up for tournaments. Definitely great to have something like this to hand. And having all these little pop-out tokens is always handy as well. And the little battle tactic cards too. So the battle tactics, you can either look at these and prepare them in advance. I number them to give you an idea of what ones I'll use perhaps in a certain round just to get ahead a little bit. Because I'm quite slow at picking my battle tactics. So it's something I want to try and speed up with. But yeah, you can just pop it out. You can say which one you're going to use and then lay it on the table so you can refer to it. Everyone can see as well. 
you're going to be writing it on your score sheet. But there's something fun about just plopping it on the table. And there you go. That's what I'm going to use. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear what you think about this new General's Handbook. Let me know in the comments section below if you've picked one up. And I hope this has helped you decide whether or not to get one if you haven't. If you are looking to get hold of a copy, I'll put a link down below that will take you to Element Games and also to my friendly local game store, The Little Shop DVD and Games. With those links, you can save up to 20% on all your hobby products, not just this General's Handbook, and you'll be supporting me here on the channel as I get a small commission too. So if you have a look through those links, it'll be awesome. Thank you so much, and also check out some of my other sponsors too. Big thanks to them for helping me keep going with these daily videos. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll be putting out another video real soon looking at the Battle Scroll. But for now, thanks again. If you liked the video, be awesome if you hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these regular videos. I couldn't do this without you and I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to join the Patreon community, support the channel, get some great perks at the same time, there's a link down below in the description. It'll be awesome to see you there.